I have written here one example on how we can use it. We can solve different questions a circle of a cycle. Unapokuwa unasoma haya maswali ya hesabu ama physics ama chemistry ambayo na involve calculations fikiri vitu vifuatavyo kwanza fikiri lugha iliyotumika hapa ni lugha ya kimahesabu we call it mathematical language kama hauwezi ukafikiri kwamba ni lugha ya kimahesabu tafsiri yake ni kwamba hautaweza kupata swali kwa sababu sio grammatical language it is a mathematical language so you should be considering every statement in a mathematical language example here find the distance between the two parallel chords we are looking for a distance between two parallel chords we have two parallel chords and these chords are only available in a circle maana yake tumeambiwa tutafute umbali uliopo kati ya two parallel chords maana yake ni kodi mbili ambazo ziko parallel with length of 6 cm and the other one of 8 cm in a circle maana yake if this is our circle hapa ni circle yetu this is a circle Seko seko yetu hapa. Tunazungumzia two parallel chords. Two parallel chords. And one is shorter and one the other is longer. Moja ni ndefu na nyingine ni fupi. Maana yake imagine mimi nimeweka fupi hapa. Halafu ndefu mimi nimeweka hapa hivi. Kweli hizi ni parallel. Na hii ni parallel na huyu. Kwa hizi tayari nimeandika sentence ilivyosema distance between two parallel chords. There must be parallel. Banake hii ni parallel na hii hapa. Kwa hizi ni parallel chords ambazo hizi hapa. Then the distance that we are looking for is the distance between them manake ni distance kati ya hawa sasa imagine hapa ni center kwa hiyo distance kutoka hapa mpaka hapa kutoka hapa mpaka hapa kwa kama hizi hapa sasa hii hapa nimesema ni center sasa tunatafuta distance ya kutoka hapa mpaka hapa hiyo ni point ya msingi sasa hizi ni tu parallel One ikiwa na 6 cm. Hii hapa ina 6 cm. Halafu hapa ina 8 cm. Sasa katika seiko kuna principle za chords hapa. Mbili. Ya kwanza inasema hivi. Iwapo hii hapa ni kodi. Mstari unaopita katikati kwenye center. Unaigawanya hii kodi mara mbili na unakuwa perpendicular bisector maana yake ni kwamba unatengeneza degree tisini maana yake inakuwa ni perpendicular with the code lakini hii kodi unaigawanya mara mbili tafsiri yake ni kwamba hapa nitakuwa na 4 cm na hapa nitakuwa na 4 cm halafu hapa nitakuwa na 3 cm na hapa nitakuwa na 3 cm kwa sheria ya kwamba mstari unaopita katikati unakuwa perpendicular na hii kodi na unaibisect. Kuibisect sasa tafsiri yake ni kwamba unaigawanya sehemu mbili zilizo sawa na hapa sehemu mbili zilizo sawa. Maana yake kutoka hapa mpaka hapa ni sawa na kutoka hapa mpaka hapa. Na kutoka hapa mpaka hapa ni sawa na kutoka hapa mpaka hapa. Hiyo ni sheria kwamba ule mstari ile ile kodi inakuwa perpendicular bisect by the line that is passing through the center of the cycle. Kwa ndio maana sasa nimeweka tayari hapa nne, hapa nne, hapa tatu, hapa tatu. 
Kwa maana ya kwamba hapa ilikuwa nane yote mpaka hapa. Hapa ilikuwa sita yote mpaka hapa. Huu mstari unaopita katikati unaigawanya mara mbili. Lakini sheria nyingine kwenye kodi anasema kama hizi kodi zinafanana urefu maana yake umbali wa kutoka hapa mpaka hapa ni sawa na umbali wa kutoka hapa mpaka hapa nielewe kama urefu wa kodi hii unafanana urefu wa kodi hii tafsiri yake ni kwamba distance ya kutoka hapa mpaka kwenye center ni sawa na distance ya kutoka hapa mpaka kwenye center maana yake iko chords ala equidistance from the center iko chords ala equidistance from the center maana yake kama kodi zinafanana na urefu umbali wa kutoka kodi moja mpaka kwenye center na kodi nyingine mpaka kwenye center zikiwa parallel ama haziko parallel lakini isipokuwa tu ziko umbali maana yake urefu unafanana maana yake hata kama mimi ningekuwa nayo hii hapo nyingine natoka hapa nyingine natoka hapa kama tu umbali wa kutoka hapa mpaka hapa ni sawa na umbali wa kutoka hapa mpaka hapa na hapa ni center yetu maana yake kutoka hapa kutoka hapa maana yake umbali wa hapa ni sawa na umbali wa hapa pamoja na kwamba hizi haziko parallel lakini kwa sababu urefu wa kutoka hapa mpaka hapa ni sawa na urefu wa kutoka hapa mpaka hapa. Hiyo ni point. Sasa hii point ambayo tumeisema hapa haiwezi kawa applicable hapa kwa sababu gani? Urefu wa kutoka hapa mpaka hapa ni 6 cm na urefu wa kutoka hapa mpaka hapa ni 8 cm. Kwa hiyo hawa hawafanani kwa urefu. Kwa maana hiyo distance ya kutoka hapa mpaka hapa si sawa na ya kutoka hapa mpaka hapa. Hiyo point msingi sana. Then in a cycle of radius 5 cm given that the chords are opposite side of the center of the cycle maana yake hizi ziko kwenye opposite side maana yake nyingine iko huku nyingine iko huku kwa hiyo na hiyo ndio sheria kwa nini ziko parallel lakini umeambiwa radius ni 5 cm ndugu yangu radius ni distance ya kutoka kwenye center kwenda kwenye point yoyote ya circumference kumbuka hiyo point kwamba radius ni distance ya kutoka kwenye center kwenda kwenye point yoyote ya circumference kwa maana hiyo mimi nikitaka radius naweza tu nikasema radius yangu nasema hapa kutoka hapa mpaka hapa ni radius ambayo hii hapa itakuwa ni 5 cm na kutoka hapa mpaka hapa pia ni radius ambao ni hiyo hiyo 5 cm. Na vivyoote vile sasa naweza nikachola hata hapa tu kutoka hapa mpaka hapa na yenyewe ni radius ambao ni 5 cm. Na kutoka hapa mpaka hapa na yenyewe ni radius ambao ni 5 cm. Sasa mimi natakiwa nijue umbali wa kutoka hapa mpaka hapa. Tafsiri yake ni kwamba nitachukua triangle nitatumia Pythagoras theory sasa nitachukua ka triangle haka hapa ambapo katakuwa namna hii ambapo katakuwa namna hii katakuwa na hivi maana yake ni kwamba hapa kana 3 cm alafu hapa kana 5 cm hapa ndo hakana kwa hiyo by using Pythagoras theory nitakuwa na a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared maana yake a ni 3 squared plus b ambao sijui is equal now to c ambao ni 5 squared ambapo sasa hapa itakuwa 9 plus b squared is equal now to 25 ambapo b squared is equal now to 25 minus 9 ambayo sasa ni b squared is equal now to 16 Now this is this is. Maana yake b is equal now to 4 cm. Kwa hiyo tafsiri yake ni kwamba hapa nitakuwa na 4 cm. Hapa ni 4 cm. Kwa kutumia haka ka right angled triangle. Right angled triangle. Nikija hapa hebu nichukue triangle hii hapa na yenyewe. Ambao sasa ni kwamba nitachukua triangle hii hapa ambayo itakuwa ni namna hii ambapo hapa ni 5 cm alafu hapa ni 4 cm ambapo sasa hapa sijui ambapo itakuwa ni 4 squared plus b squared ziko nao to 5 squared ambapo nitakuwa na 16 plus b squared ziko nao to 
Mana B squared is equal to 25 minus 16. Ambapo B squared is equal now to what? To 9. Logical, radical. Then B is equal now to 3 centimeter. Kwa hapa na penyewe, nitakuwa na 3 centimeter. Sasa, point yangu swali ni kwamba, find the distance between the two parallel chords of length 6 cm and 8 cm in a cycle of radius 5 cm given that the chords are on opposite sides of the center of the cycle that is the point now we are looking for the distance from one chord to another chord ambao sisi tutakuwa ni kutoka hapa mpaka hapa ambao ni 3 plus ni ambao tutakuwa ni 3 kwa maana hiyo length of the chord Let's say this is A, B. Now, A, B, that is length of a chord, is equal now to 4 cm plus 3 cm is equal now to 7 cm. Now, the distance between the chord is 7 cm as I have shown. Lakini kama zingelikuwa huyu na huyu, huyu na huyu wanafanana, tunge tafuta tu moja wapo, na hapa tunge sema hapa ni sawa na hapa, Hapa mpaka hapa ni sana kutoka hapa mpaka hapa. Lakini hii hapana kwa sababu hizi hazifanani ulefu. Hizi hazifanani ulefu. Kwa umbali wa kutoka hapa mpaka hapa, si sawa na umbali wa kutoka hapa mpaka mpaka hapa. Tafusili yake, tulazimika kutafuta distance ya hapa na distance ya hapa. Ili sasa tuje tupate kwa pamoja distance ya wapi. Lakini radius tume substitute hapa kwa sababu radius ni distance kutoka kwenye center to any point of the circle. Na ndiyo maana sasa ni nisaidia kupata right angle di triangle kwa sababu ni ngechola bivyote vile nikapata ambao imenitumia pathogla theory ni meza kupata 7 cm. Kwa this is the, this is the uh, one of the question that can be given in the circle. Now let us see the next question how we can use the Cordis principles.